really kick in. So what are kind of the challenges of, of guarding him with, you know, he's the number two receiver for them for the Yeah, he's a big long guy and he can make the 50-50 ball, you know, and uh, they obviously going to try to stretch the field. Kenny is starting to get a relationship with him, so I definitely see them taking some shots. What kind of challenges or maybe advantages do you guys have when you're going up against a, a rookie quarterback in Pickett? Honestly, man, we just going out there to play ball. I ain't going to say rookie, 10 year vet. It don't matter. We all we treat them all the same. You know? and, and how's it feel to be going into week 13 now? I mean, with kind of the roller coaster of the season, mm -hmm. you guys are still in the playoff talks, still in the talks about winning that division. And what does that feel like for you? I mean, as long as we in the hunt, we got a chance, right? So that's what we're planning on right now, and that's what we're preparing for. So as long as we got that chance, we're going to keep fighting. <laughs> Anyone else have anything? Uh, do you have my cause, my cleats? I do have my cause, my cleats. So what is your cause, and then ask, uh, why did you pick that? Generational men and women, so it's about like you know like underprivileged kids who, you know, sometimes in the cities or just just don't have all the opportunities as a uh, majority of people do, and uh, it's just bringing awareness. So. I plan eventually in my future to do something to bring you know more awareness and probably start my own foundation. You know, it could be something happen like that, but that's that's my uh, foundation. I hope to bring awareness to it. Um, first of all, we just got the news about um, Kyle Pitts being done completely for the season. He had his surgery. Now that means your role will increase uh, on offense. How do you feel prepared uh, to kind of take this next step? Uh, first of all, uh, we hate to see anybody go down, especially Kyle, a big part of this offense and. Uh, a great guy, man. We love him in our room, and we're gonna miss him. Um, but uh, as far as the role expanding, it's 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 not just me. It's everybody on that offense. Um, we all got to step up to replace a guy like that. Um, it's gonna be hard to do, but I feel like we're up to the challenge. I believe you played with Tennessee as well. Has that helped you at all, fitting in naturally more so with Arthur Smith and this offense? Yeah, yeah, just comfortable with the system, comfortable with Arthur. Uh, I've been in the very same room with him every day at one point, so uh, there's definitely a comfort level there, and we're building off that being here. At this stage in the season, yeah, Arthur was talking on Monday, I think it was, and he said, like, it's, it's crazy that this team is kind of still in playoff contention despite the record. Have you, like, reflected on that yourself, like, how weird it is uh, that you're in this situation? And just, yeah, just uh, we fortunate, for sure, to be in this position, but uh, I haven't really just dwelled on it. It's, it's every week in this league, you want to win every game that you go into, so whether, uh, no matter where we was at, we're trying to win the game, so that's the goal. Does, does it kind of give you almost like motivation that like you know kind of been given this gift and we have an opportunity to do something? Yeah, uh, I feel like we motivated either way. We know that each week is is a big game for us. It's playoff football right now, so if that ain't motivating you, then nothing else will. Who are your uh, my calls, my cleats? Who are you representing? Uh, I don't, I don't have the my calls, my cleats this year. Okay. So, yeah. so there's only so many that get to pick, or do you just? just uh, no, some people get to pick, but I didn't okay. have a necessary cause that I was just trying to represent this year. Okay. All right. Uh, and overall, how do you feel like your connection has been with Marcus? Uh, it's it's been pretty well. That's another Tennessee connection, and, and somebody that I'm also comfortable with. And, uh, and whenever my number is called, I'm I'm ready to make that play. Every week it's a different challenge, and this week is the same. Um, we're going to have to step up. We're going to have to make sure we don't give up explosive plays and just play our brand of football. You look at what they can bring even in the running game, just, you know, what kind of challenge are you supposed to be kind of have they have in the backfield with Najee and everything like that? Yeah, they got, they got good, a few good running backs back there uh, with Najee and Snell and even other guys. So, I mean, we just got to be ready to come in and stop the run and try to make them pass the ball and stop the pass too. So, we got to so, do it. So, everybody see every week, they see the spectacular catches that Pickens, George Pickens can make. Yeah. You, know, you obviously went to UGA and everything. What do you think about kind of like the season he has so far? What you, see, what you can see? Yeah, he's a young guy with a very high ceiling. Uh, I mean, I feel like he's scratching the surface. So, we got to go out there and try to limit his explosive plays and explosive catches, but um, it's the NFL, so you know you got guys that can make those hard catches and hard um, challenging catches, so we know it's going to be a fight. We got to be ready to take the blows and give blows back. Can you talk about the design of the cleats you're going to wear on Sunday, how you came up with that? Um, I don't have a specific design. Um, my, I just wanted to make sure that I had United Way in, involved with it.